Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to calibrate the Z offset on an Ender 3 V2 with the Ender series touchscreen. So first, you want to make sure you have the firmware flashed for your touchscreen so that you, the leveling menu is open to you. To get started, you're going to go ahead and go into the ready menu, click on move axis, and you're going to click on the center button and that will bring it to the home. Now that the printer is home, we're going to go ahead and move the nozzle to 117, 117, because this is where the probe actually touches. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go back. We're going to go ahead and go back one more time, and then we're going to go into the leveling menu. So now we're going to start adjusting the Z offset, and here it's called Z axis compensation. So slowly we're going to lower the z-axis until it gets right about to underneath the little piece of paper and then we're going to lower it one or two more steps to get it to that final point. Okay, so now we're going to slowly lower it until it starts to pinch on the piece of paper. There we go, so now it's pinching on the paper. So that'll be the first point that I start and do a test print to see how the first layer goes down. If it comes out that it's a little bit too high, then I'll lower it another step, go down to negative 2.89. And then if that's still too high of a first layer, then I'll keep going down. Better to start higher than to start lower because you don't want to get that nozzle scraping on the bed in case you have any little imperfections on your bed. So now I'll go ahead and print a test print to see how the thickness of the first layer is and I'll measure that with calipers and if it's good then I'll leave it as is and if not then I'll go ahead and lower it some more. And keep in mind that your value won't be the same as mine. It might be a little bit different so just use your little piece of paper to get it nice and close and then lower it one step further at a time if you need to continue lowering it. So now I'll start the test print. This is basically just printing a one layer print and then I'm going to measure that with calipers and see what the thickness is. It's essentially just a little box that's one layer thick. You can put it on any slicer just by adding a shape and make it one layer thick. I'm doing 0.28 millimeters so we'll see how close it gets to that. As long as it's within 0.02 millimeters then I'll be happy. So this one is a little bit too high, I can tell already, because the skirt didn't get good adhesion and neither is the rest of it. So it's going to have to be lowered a little bit more. But let's just check what the thickness is just to see. So I'm going to have to lower it about 0.15 at least to get it close to my tolerances. So it looks like I could go one more step down. Give it a nice squeeze, it gets down there. So I might actually just call this good because I don't need those exact dimensional tolerances, but if you need better tolerances, try stepping it down one more time and see if that works for you. And that's how you calibrate the Z offset for the Ender Series touchscreen. If you like this video, like and subscribe, check out my other videos. Let me know in the comments what you think I should make in other videos. Thanks, have a good day.